the very first time I received an official letter or any letter at all from any part of the Dutch government, it felt like absolute gibberish, like a random collection of vowels and consonants. So how did I go from there to actually being able to now understand letters from the government? Hi, hi, it's episode 187 of your favorite daily podcast a couple of things and today i'm going to talk about my journey so far in learning dutch so as you all know if you are not listening to this podcast for the first time you know that i'm learning dutch and my big goal for the year is to um, get to b2 proficiency by the end of the year and i started at at the beginning of this year at like somewhere just before a1 which is the first stage b2 is the fourth level of proficiency and as I said in the intro, my first letter from the Dutch government, I was like, what is this? What are these things? This, this can't possibly be words. I didn't understand anything. And for the first couple of months, weeks that I was in the Netherlands, I wasn't eating proper food because I didn't just have the mental energy to try and translate everything in the supermarket. So I was basically eating egg and bread and salad. And when I say salad, I don't mean like I was buying salad from the supermarket. I was buying spinach and cherry tomato things i could recognize without having to translate them and then i could make my salad at home so that's basically my first couple of months because i don't understand anything and i really was not in the mood <laughs> to be using google translate every single time i wanted to buy something in the supermarket so anyway and while during my classes i always feel like am i really learning anything i don't know what's happening are they sure that i'm like what am i doing here this is so confusing and difficult and more and more especially in the past couple of weeks so currently i'm in b1.1 so i'm halfway through b1 then i will do another class to get to b1 the end of b1 i for the past couple of days in this past week especially so many things have been happening that are like wow i'm actually learning this language like i understand stuff now and it's so amazing and so I don't even know. It's so exciting to actually be learning something. It's so exciting to come from a place of, I don't know, Jack here to, oh, I know this now. A couple of days ago, we received mail, government mail as well. And I understood it. I understood the whole letter without having to translate any part of it with Google Translate. The only things that I had to go were like specific words I hadn't seen before. But like from the context surrounding it, I kind of understood what the letter meant but then i went to check for the actual meaning of the exact word and that was mind-blowing to me because two years ago i did not understand that at all i had to translate every single letter every single thing that i saw with google translate and to be coming from that place to being able to just read things and understand them like i don't even have to like think twice about it except i stumble upon a word i have never seen before then it's like hmm, what could this word possibly mean and then i google it and then it's 70 to 80 percent of the time i'm close enough to the mark and that's just amazing recently as well i got antihistamines and of course the instruction paper is in dutch and i understood majority of it i mean there were some very medical words that i, I didn't know but like for the most part, like say 70-80%, I understood the whole thing. Like 70-80% of it, I understood without Google Translate. And these things are so exciting and so encouraging. And I can't wait to be like doing rapid fire Dutch every day, everywhere. It's, I'm so thrilled. I don't know if you can tell, but I am so, so thrilled and excited by the fact that I understand so many things now. I went to the supermarket the other day and I spoke with the... Uh, person there both at the cashier at the checkout and also just somebody around the store because i was looking for a specific item and i asked them like where can i find this in dutch and they answered me in dutch and i understood what they said and one time i was walking on the road actually twice this week when i was just walking on the road people have stopped me to talk to me in dutch to ask like maybe for directions or to for whatever and I understood what they were saying. And I was able to answer them. And they understood me. Which is actually the more important part. <laughs> because I can understand them. But if they don't understand me. That's a whole other issue. But not only did I understand them. They understood my response to them in Dutch. In fact, one of them was like, wow. Because when they asked me, I was like, mm, 
I speak in British Netherlands, like I, I speak a little bit of Dutch. And when I answered her question, she was like, "Wow, like your Dutch is really good." I was like, "Ah, you guys, my school fees is not wasting. The money I'm paying to learn this language is not wasting, and that is so amazing." Thank you for listening to my excitement today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Also, don't forget you can always submit a question through the link in the description box of wherever you're listening to this. Thank you for listening to today's episode of A Couple of Things. If there was anything you found interesting or insightful, or you enjoyed the episode, please do share to someone or multiple people. Like, leave a comment, and definitely do subscribe and all the nice things. Bye.